going on, y'all? It's Eat with Patrick Blackwood. This is what we have here today. We have curry shrimp with some pepper, coals, curry powder, bay leaves, garlic powder, everything. All this goodness that you can smell through the freaking phone. I know you smell that. Oh my gosh. So much things that I add into this with love. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well. Like and share. Also, guys, you will be available to look in the description box. It has my recipe, how I made my homemade curry shrimp. And your boy is back on OnlyFans doing his grown man business. You guys, go ahead and take a look at that as well. We got to get the show on the road. Amen. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a, a grateful, amazing, a blissful day. And then this topping on the cake. Topping of the cake. I cut down my potatoes very small. So they can cook faster, obviously. They're so good. They are so good. I don't know, I was feeling for some curry today. I'm like, you know what? Let me go to the grocery store, pick up some curry and they don't have the Jamaican curry powder. I use the Indian powder of the curry and it's bombing. Very bombing. Mm. Feel like I'm in a tropical island, literally. <laughs> I keep my water on deck. If you guys haven't seen my main channel, my main channel will have me traveling. You guys will see my NTV Cribs edition of my apartment. You guys take a look at that as well. Um, just having a lot of fun and having a lot of humor on it too as well, man. Life is so short. Y'all live it the most. I'm just grateful for being here and having all these experiences and growth process because shit that I've been through in check and how I take certain things for granted, especially with people that I love, <clears throat> people that are in my family that I love too as well and the relationships that I've been, I've been with, it gave me a different outlook in life. Um, I've been listening to the Shaolin Master and it's given me a different outlook of life, man. Learning about, understanding my thoughts and just writing it down on on my journal just just having that moment to have that clear thinking and being emotional on my journal while I'm not talking to anybody like I'm talking to you guys it's it's just a fresher it's just so fresh it's really fresh a breath of air oh man now that I'm thinking about it and it's a 
it's a lot of cause and effect when it comes down to relationships, establishing the relationships, and I could say I was a really a damaged person. And I can say that because the knowledge that I did not have in the past and now do I have in, in, the, in the present, I just want to take the fact and own up for the responsibilities of what I've done to other people, other women that I've been with. And knowing the fact that I didn't know how to attack my problems head on makes me know that I was toxic. I was very toxic. And it's scary to say that because everybody want to be right. Nobody don't want to be wrong. People won't accept for who they are. They don't want to be vulnerable in their own skin. And I have to do that because I don't want to damage anybody. I want to be real and authentic to you guys. You get what I mean? So for me to be authentic and real, I had to give back myself my love back, my compassion back, my respect back, uh, my integrity, just to myself. Because now if I can do that for myself, then I can do it for others that I really care about. So we gotta look inward. We gotta look inward, y'all. We have to look inward because if we don't do that, we're always gonna damage another person in a relationship. Also family members, your kids. I thought about it. And just remember the times that I used to make fun of my brother just playing games all the time. And I was like, yo, you ain't gonna be shit because you play games all the time. And that was the wrong approach to do that. You get what I mean? Like, And while I'm saying that, why am I saying that? Because <clears throat> that was saying, it is a process when it comes down to people. And I felt like this here was a rehab. Like if you go into a drug and you're addicted to something, it's a rehab. Now, it's the same thing when you're in the outside world and you're in America, you have a regular routine, right? You wake up in the morning, you go to Starbucks every morning, faithfully, 8 o'clock, exactly 8 a.m. before you go to work at 9.30, faithfully. Faithfully, 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 right? Now, just to say, I tell you, hey, you on a budget, you cannot spend your Starbucks money in the early mornings anymore. Me telling you that will change the whole aspect. It's like me grabbing your wallet and you cannot, like I grab your debit card, this is a better example. I grab your debit card and every time you swipe to go to Starbucks, regardless if you're driving your car, it's not going to go through. It's like a, you, you, you got to be an addict. You're an addict for it. So for me to tell my brother, hey, you this and you're that, it's the wrong thing to say to him. And he's going through a phase in his life. Like everybody else has gone through a phase. It's like, yo, we all got to go through a whole phase. I went through a whole phase. Man, I want to put my dick in everybody. Everybody, anybody, I don't care what color you are, white, black, yellow, Asian, persuasion. I don't give a fuck who you are. As long as you bad and you look good, 
I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm gonna put my dick in you. Simple as that. But I had to change my energy. I had to change my friction, how I say things. I had to, I was coping on those things with my own problems and it was not the right thing. I had to be alone. I had to find somebody that I can look up to and YouTube to get me out of my own thinking, my own out of my own environment, and stop self sabotaging my own self and myself, myself being, to start thinking bigger than I was thinking before. And why I'm telling you guys that sometimes you just can't, you can't help people, but you got to help yourself, and. I didn't get that until now, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm by myself. I'm going through this process right now. I'm, I'm like, damn. Okay, I'm understanding. What people were talking about. Well, this is so good. I want to say thank you guys for being here with me. I want to say a good, kindly message to you guys. Trust the process. Believe in yourself. And keep on moving forward. And always learn something new in your life. Because you want to keep on practicing these new habits. So you can be self-aware. And bring these self-healthy boundaries to yourself. And to the people that you really love. Until next time, love.